How are you guys? It's Sasha Marke here, Lemon Creation. Today I'm gonna be, at least I'm gonna try to make a video and speak at the I same time. I don't do uh, unboxing very often because first of all I'm uh, in only two DT teams uh, this year, uh, which is not bad also, but I also don't buy that many things. And the reason for that is first of all, uh, as you know, I have my small um, uh, online uh, shop and I design things in it and uh, I basically have no time I and I also want, want to do a publicity uh, a little bit for uh, myself and my shop but there comes a time when I actually need new things I love something which I've seen on the internet and I also want you to uh, you know hmm, to see other things I'm using you know not only mine 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 this is the box uh, most of the things in it I bought, all of that I bought, but those I wanted to show you, those are the uh, Paper Rose uh, DT uh, package I got this month. And there are a few things which I really like and I wanted to show you. Uh, this one I already started working with, so as you can see it's a little uh, <laughs> not packed uh, as it should be. But it's basically crisp, crisp Christmas sentiment sheets. And they are on A5 paper and 12 sheets of six designs, so two, uh, two of each. Uh, I think most of you know paper rose. Ah, look guys, that's what happened. This is me. I cut out a few of the things already. So basically, as it says here, it's a crisp Christmas. So you have things, Christmassy things here. So basically, that's the list. Can you see that? I hope yes. And then you have a list like that, two of white, two of black, mm, and they are the standard ones. They are perfect for card making, for example, um, Merry Christmas, Christmas Blessings, fa la 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 la, good that I'm not singing. <laughs> uh, there was one, ah, uh, Merry Christmas, I really love this one, oh, it's so cute. And then you have also things like that. A little bit uh, bigger. I'm not uh, really a big fan of those. I don't really know how to use them to be honest but I know a lot of you use things like that and you know how to use them. I don't. But, and then I also have this one but I cut them uh, because I also don't use them and I'm gonna actually put them in the order envelopes. The, all the orders which leave before Christmas I'm gonna add things like that to the orders. Uh, I like to always add something uh, to my customers, so usually they are uh, extra papers from uh, my shop or extra gifts from my shop, my designs, but uh, sometimes I also add things like that. Uh, oh, this one I used also. Uh, that's gonna be, uh, you're gonna see it in the project on the 30th of, uh, what do we have here now? November, yes. But... Uh, that's a really beautiful uh, stamp. I really like their products. That's why I also <laughs> I uh, decided to apply for the DT team for them last year because I was amazed by the products they have. I really love them and uh, I am so happy I did. And here is the new release. It's, how do you call it? Uh, Poinsettia, I think. <laughs> it's a beautiful stamp also. And they have amazing dies. So here is the Christmas one. I actually uh, ordered the Christmas ones mostly, but I love their uh, flowers and leaves. So here we go. And those are a little bit more Christmassy. Well, to me anyway, because uh, I think uh, those look like a small uh, a Christmas tree decoration, although they can be used as a dancers. I also bought this. It's a mask from Stampers Anonymous, so basically Tim Holtz. And so it's a moon mask and uh, I tried it. I haven't done any project with it, but I kind of tried it. Um, and so it consists of three circles, different size, as you can see over here, plus the stencils also three of different size so you can arrange them and make uh, three different sizes of moon and um, this way around 
And I'm also thinking that if you are stubborn enough, you could probably, I don't know, add a little bit more by using two different colors. Look, if you do it in like a different shades of gray, for example, you can always uh, add probably uh, something or create something uh, more complicated. And those are uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy Vecchi, Vecchi uh, Make Art Blendable Dye Ink Cornflower Blue, Fern Green and Watering Can. Also, for the very first time, my very first 3D Stress Oxide Sprays. Do not ask me why I choose these colors. I wanted some earthy ones for a change because I've noticed lately it's been blue, 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 green, turquoise, violet, blue. <laughs> That's what I'm using. So I wanted to change. I wanted to shake things a little bit and uh, I took those still originally packed. I've never used them. And then ah, I bought Woody's. For those of you who watched uh, Marta Łapkowska channel, Maremi Smolat, you heard probably that she is actually in love with Woody's. She is always saying, oh, you have to buy Woody's if you don't have them. Okay, I have to tell you honestly, this is not cool. I've never used them in my life. If I knew that opening them will be so difficult, so damn difficult, I would probably not buy them. They are quite expensive though. It's uh, this small stamp of a crayon. It's like, it was like over two euro. And uh, that's why I choose only three colors because I'm not sure I'm gonna like them. And then you have to buy a uh, this thing, you know, to how would you call it? It's not a razor, a sharpener to sharpen them because of course they are so huge. I didn't buy for now because I said I may not like them. Yes, I'm very disappointed with the way they are closed. <laughs> but and this one I wanted to show you also this one. I'm gonna show you at the end how do they write all of them. This one I already tried. Um, I actually bought them for myself. <laughs> My children are jealous, I have to buy them like that also. I was not sure if it's gonna write nicely and it's actually writing really nicely. It's just a pen, gel pen, but the nib is tiny, tiny, tiny. I've never seen actually such a tiny nib for a pen, but we'll see. And I'm not sure if you know those. Those I absolutely love. They are tiny, tiny. Ah, come on. Why can't you not? Ah, here, we can see you. And I bought them also for my son because he loves writing with them. It's a, This one is happy color. It's a lovely panda. And dream big. Uh, I'm showing you this is a gum, actually. It's a friction uh, pen. So it's uh, erasing and for my son, they are perfect also because, uh, you know, if he makes a mistake, he can erase it. Okay, I don't like this box here, so I'm gonna just take them out, those things. Oppa. These are all surface paint markers, glitter and twice glitter, twice metallic. But this is deco time. And for... Uh, Crafters who are in Europe, you may know it, it's uh, it's a brand which is uh, selling uh, cheap products in a shop which is called Action and they are really cheap. I think I'm not even sure if I paid one euro for it. Okay, you have to shake, push and write, oh, so they're gonna be acrylic ones. Okay, I have to tell you guys, I hate when you have to do that, like with uh, Posca, I love Posca pens, but when I have to do that, it's just... And then uh, quite often when I am uh, trying to write, nothing comes out and then I press and then there is a big blob of paint. I am not, uh, I'm not happy. I know for most of you they are not possible to buy, but for once in Europe we have something you don't have in USA or Canada or Australia because you have so many things I Oh, this is me trying to throw things to the bin. And let's see that. That one looks beautiful. And I completely cracked the price, 234 I think. Guys, honestly, that's once again, I bought it in this cheap shop action. And it's a sketchbook suitable for ink, pencil, oil, pastel and charcoal. I don't know who's gonna draw with charcoal inside this. 
because as you can see all the pages are black and I am so excited because I want to do some black art journaling I mean on the black uh, on the black paper not black <laughs> I I'm sure I'm not gonna be using any charcoal that is sure this is studio light rabon transfers I love absolutely my rabon, uh, rabon transfers I have a lot of them and these ones I've never uh, had. Of course, they are done by Marlene. Marlene uh, uh, from Studio Light has a lot of beautiful designs. And actually, you can uh, recognize her uh, style quite easily. And uh, yes, here is the price, $3.99. So I think I made a deal. And this is my big love lately, $49 and market. I'm gonna make a publicity for 49 and market <laughs> even though I am not paid to do that or neither am I working for them but I absolutely honestly I absolutely love the, uh, these products anyway I have I think they are very good quality very good uh, contenance I think like there is uh, a lot of pages I really love working with them lately and as I said, maybe, maybe one day I will apply to work for them as a DT. Not sure if they'll take me, but <laughs> one can only dream. And so uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Those are the ones I already used. They are called Spectrum Sherbet. They have this whole collection with Spectrum. And uh, those are, uh, are palettes, Rabon Transfer Set. So you have six pages of six by eight sheets. So basically A5 size and look at that guys I have them upside down and uh, all over the place kind of because I already work with them but you know sometimes when you don't know what kind of paint to use or how to put the paint on the page it's enough that you add a few of those and it will look so beautiful they are so absolutely gorgeous once again they are rabbons so they can be applied on the flat surface but really Mm, they are really worth it. I really, really like, and as I said, I am not paid, <laughs> or uh, I have, you know, I am not uh, uh, getting any products for free to, you know, to make a publicity. I just really like them, and they come with a small uh, thingy. <laughs> have no idea how this is called. Uh, and this one is the other one which I already used so it's in pieces guys uh, they are designed by Katie Pertier Spectrum Sherbet again lemonade strawberry lemonade sorry uh, that's a 30 by 30 or 12 by 12 uh, Rabon transfer sheet is only there is only one but it's uh, enough for a lot of projects I think I already did three projects out of that and I still have a lot left once again, they are Ravons, and this one is almost whole, almost, there is a small part missing. And I love also that they are done, uh, you know, in different color schemes, they look beautiful. This one is Tidal, tidal Wave, really beautiful, I really like, uh, like them, I already said it, and they are quite easy to... Um, transfer onto the paper. They are not very uh, difficult. And so I decided to buy a little bit from them. Uh, because they are not super cheap, but at the same time, you know, they can last you for a long time, I guess. Uh, I cannot afford to buy uh, all of them, even though I wish I could. And uh, I'm buying a little by little. So first I bought the ones I showed you. Now I bought these ones. Mm, this one is actually a six sheet, uh, sheet A5. I'm never sure if I pronounce the word, sh um, the word sheet correctly, <laughs> but I mean pages, guys. I haven't used them still, but they look, uh, they look absolutely beautiful. And I'm really happy I bought them and I think I'm going to do some very simple uh, aesthetic art journaling, which I learned to do and to love I think last week which is super simple super easy and they're gonna be perfect and I love also that there is this uh, parts of text in between because even if you uh, don't want to use the flower for some project you can cut the part of the text and you have a beautiful uh, beautiful uh, addition to your page to your layout uh, this is my thing you know <laughs> 
Blah. It's a it's a crunch. It's it's something which speaks to me always. And they have it in different colors. Like different colors. I choose violet. Wait, kind of, it's not even violet, it's kind of plum. I also find there is not that much things in the plum color. And so uh, that's why uh, I wanted this one. Uh, I wish there would be more sprays of this kind of color, you know, than this. Uh, I don't know. I cannot really find them. Or maybe I'm not looking well enough. And so here you have two by uh, six by eight sheets, so uh, A5. And also uh, these ones. Uh, this came to me, I bought it, uh, it came to the, in the parcel already kind of opened. Uh, it was half open, so I think it's just the bag didn't uh, withstand the, the sheer, uh, how do you call it, weight of all of those. <laughs> They are vintage artistry, essential. Oh, guys, I have no glasses on. What? Foliage? But what? What is this? Plum foliage? No. Ma oh, how is it that I cannot get it? Mini foliage. A ah, mini. There is no dot on the over the E, is there? Look, guys, there is no dot. I was completely... Uh, Yes, so I'll, I'll do it back again. Vintage Artistry Essential Mini Foliage. <laughs> I manage. 56 pieces, plastic die cut pieces. So basically that's what we have here. You know they are on printed on acetate. And it's really hard to see when I'm showing you like that. They are... Uh, leaves, 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 leaves. Two type of leaves. Ones are very see-through. Here we go. The others are more with white, so less see-through. And then we have also few butterflies. Ay, 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 ay. One second one. And there is plenty of them. Fifty-six pieces, and that's the last thing. And I love it. Guys, how cute is that? I already use one. I am actually using them already since I got them and I got them last week. They are the metal clips. Aren't they just beautiful? They are vintage artistry, essential binder clips. Now I know they don't have a uh, dot over the E. Or maybe they do. No, it's a tiny, tiny dot. <laughs> but no, I don't hold it against them. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this vintage feel. I love the way they are done. The metal is really sturdy. This one, this bad boy, I didn't even open. It's huge. I don't know what I'm gonna clip with that. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? So let's do some art maybe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do art, but I scrap papers. No, nothing goes to waste. So I'm gonna try these glitter markers. Ah, because this is gonna take me forever. A little bit of flamenco in the background. Guys, you can sing, I'll do that. Let's, <laughs> Let's see if that works. Oh, really, I really, it's blonde, uh, it's blonde, it's, <laughs> it's white, so I need to make it work first, so I need to press, oh. <clears throat> oops, you see what I was talking about, I don't like those, guys, I wanted to show you like that, so you can see better, but of course my hand is shaking, the paper is moving, I guess this one is metallic. It's quite nice, the metallic one. The metallic silver. It's just metallic silver. It's nothing special. And so now we have this one. This one should be fun. Look at that, guys. Weird. It's a weird color. Ah, here. But it's so sparkling in comparison to, uh, to this one over here. Oh, la la. It's so much nicer. I actually... I actually would buy this set just for this marker, I think. Let's see it on the white. But guys, what you see actually on the phone is exactly what I'm seeing on the paper. 
buff. There is a tiny shine to it, but on the white is really not nice. While on the black, oh, 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 I love it on the black. Those bad boys. Come on, pause. Make a nice pause. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, because I really love the idea that they actually have uh, like positive uh, sentences on them. Dream big, be curious. And uh, this one is red. Oh, what are you? So nothing special. It writes really nicely though. You know, I really like. This one is completely gone, but my son showed me that you can actually replace the inside. So I have to replace it. And this should be black. And what's cool about them is that you just take this bad boy and you can erase them. So cute! I really love things like that. I could do a collection. I da, 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 I'm gonna write that. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. I'm wondering how many of you will stop watching me after this video. We're gonna do some woodies. I don't know why they are called woodies. It's very rich. Black is beautiful. That, by the way, was the um, was the paper by Alexandra Renka. I don't know if you heard. Her Instagram account was hacked. And so she changed her Instagram account. I don't remember. I think it's Alexandra Renke uh, underscore art. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna check that for you guys. If you were a subscriber to her before, uh, please change into her new account. This is really a very bad thing which is happening, but that's also the risk of the internet. I love the feel of them. They are really actually, I'm telling you guys, they are like oily almost. They are not oily, but they look almost oily. Three in one. I'm gonna Google them. Yes! Ho ho ho! So woodies are water soluble. Guys, look at that. Wow, uh, this is just amazing. I really love that. This video was way too long, over one hour, so I decided to divide it into two pieces. In first, there is unboxing and checking some of the products, but in the second one, I'm gonna be working with the rest of the products to create this page. And it's gonna be uh, available in, uh, I think, three, two, three days time. So please check my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, for being here. And I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video. And if you have any comments and you wanna tell me if you like this type of videos, please uh, just write it down. I'm sending you big hugs and see you soon. Bye bye.